Okay, in this video we're going to start our action scripts. So I've gone ahead and created a new layer out here called Actions. We've got F9 to open up our Actions panel. And the first things that we're going to do is we need to hide some of our interface. So starting off with our Instructions underscore TXT we're going to hide that by saying visible equals false semicolon at the end that's for our new line next our timer underscore txt let's go ahead and set all of these basically equal to false our game over text going to equal false. Our reset button is going to equal false. Our mini text for our numbers our seconds Our milliseconds, and our score. So that should take care of most of our interface as we're going through. Uh, the next area is we need to start creating some variables as well. So variables always start out with the uh, word VAR to declare that variable. What is its name? The first one I'm going to create is a count colon and our count is going to be a number. So and how big a number do we want? I want 120 so that's going to give me 120 seconds or basically two minutes of time. So next I need to create a variable for my seconds. And again that's going to be a number and that is going to equal zero. Next a variable for our minutes. Again a number and all of these here are just basically going to start out with zero variable for milliseconds equals zero and a variable for our score and all that's going to equal zero So when we start a game, everything is going to equal zero. That number is going to pop into our um, time count and start counting down. Our score is going to equal zero until we start hitting a target. Next, we need some more variables. And basically, these are going to be some that we will use throughout the game. First one I'm going to create is called random. And this is basically just going to be for a random number that we're going to generate. I'm not going to declare this at any time. So we we'll declare it when we first uh, create a random number. Next, I need a variable. And with this variable, it's going to equal select target. And it's going to be a boolean. What a boolean is, is basically a true or false. And I'm going to start this off as a true. So it will select what target is actually passing through the stage. Next a variable called done and that's going to be a, another boolean and we're going to set this equal to false. Basically with this variable what it's going to do when we're moving our targets up and down on the y-axis it's going to see if it has reached the top 
set there for a couple seconds, maybe a second, and then start moving back down. We want to give them time to actually reach that target and then be able to click on it. So setting this time variable, uh, we can go through and modify it so it doesn't stay up as long. We can make it stay up longer and we'll get down into that code a little bit later. Next, I need another variable and this is going to be my target time, target timer. And again, this is going to be a number. This is going to be how long do I want to hold that target up? and since we have some targets that are moving back and forth I'm going to create an array here I'm going to call it switch it's going to equal an array and it's going to equal a new array with this array we have at least six targets that are going from side to side across the stage now with that I only want it to go from one side to the next. I don't want it to come back across the stage uh, each time that target goes out. So I, once it goes across, I'm going to set an array to make it equal true or false, basically a boolean, and check that. And it's just easier to set it up in an array instead of creating all the booleans. So with that, I'm going to set each one of these arrays and with that we need a bracket one to start out with number one and it's going to equal false so with this I'm just going to copy that so control C control V two three four five and six and then just come back up here and basically state two three four five and six and again these are going to be for my targets that are moving across the x-axis from side to side the ones on the y-axis that pop up if you don't click on it fast enough I want it to go ahead and move down on its own okay now with that uh, we're going to bring this one to a close and in the next one we we'll start uh, dealing with our buttons and some of the functions to actually make this game uh, work so we'll see you in the next tutorial thanks